Hello, welcome again to part two of uh, today's walk cycle animation screencast tutorial. Uh, we'll be continuing on working on um, the editing and composing of this keyframe animation using motion tween and of course uh, group based uh, folders. So last time uh, we talked about some of the fundamental aspects about it and using uh, Richard Williams uh, reference guide, which is the animator survival guide, uh, I mean, survival kit correction, uh, and sort of broke it down into uh, several segments. Uh, so we are going to continue on with that. So in a, since we already established and uh, setting up the keyframes, all you had to do is control, use the control key and select each individual layer then hover to keyframe one and right click and create motion tween to establish the first motion tween. Be sure not to forget to set your ease up to 100. Um, but other than that, uh, we're going to continue on uh, more or less uh, through this process. So uh, let's go down right here before we even animate. Uh, we'll use this. You could use this as reference if you want to. If you want to do a screen grab, I recommend finding an image of this break down here. It helps uh, set and establish all this stuff um, through these points. Uh, again, whatever works for you for each pose and set usually is very helpful. So um, again, utilize these to help you out. So, of course, I did the slide in right here. Now, I'm going to do the same thing right here. Hold control key. Right mouse click and enter and insert keyframe all. Again, use the free transform tool to help set up. I'm going to set my anchor point to here on the bottom. So, I set right here so this is the down spot here cinched going down right here same thing arm for arm the pivot to the pivot point there we go so when we play it there that's the first establishment of that now we're going to go within next increment of three frames one two three so, of course, right here, five, six, seven, keyframe seven, we go here, answer keyframe all, same thing with the body rig, insert keyframe all. Make sure you hover within that specific keyframe, because if you don't, if you're off just one iota of uh, inch of it, uh, it'll override everything and you'll be having numerous of keyframes uh, that coincide with it and it causes a whole lot of problems along the way. So anyways, uh, moving on, same thing here uh, as a setup in right here. I am going to create keyframes there. Oh. Again, move my pivot point to my hip area, adjust, there you go, foot, and if you have to, as you notice, it starts to automatically snap. Sometimes it's better if you kind of zoom in so you have a better look and uh, to have a better refinement right there. Air, perfect, and then you could uh, zoom out through right this little bar. So of course, it's a good indicator where you're at. And of course, I'm going to move to center since I'm shifting not only rot by rotation but also through translation. So of course, move that here. Now do the same thing, holding the control key and selecting each of the layer. Insert keyframe, all. Now I'm going to work my way in setting the pivot point here. 
adjust. Good. Calf and foot, same thing. Pivot point to the knee. Sometimes make a little bit of adjustments and see what I mean if you don't reset the anchor point. No matter what you do, it's going to uh, stay at to that point. So again, calf and foot, re uh, anchor that same point right there. Just the foot here like that. So Okay, and now this right here is the lift. to here, body, and head. Right here, head, adjust to equalize. So if you may have to zoom in, you can. Sometimes you need to do that. Here, fit to window. This point right here. Okay, now I may have to make adjustments on the arm because again, shifting of body weight. See what I mean? And adjust pivot point to shoulder. adjustments right here adjust it to here to the center of this elbow hand slight adjustment there so you should have a, a bit of a swing right there Right now, I'm not focusing too much on the arms per se, on uh, the left arm per se, because I just want to uh, focus primarily here on what's at front. So um, once you already have that established on the front, it should be fairly easy to do the same from the back. So let's look here. Boom. Okay, let's look in there, there, there. Okay. So add in another keyframe of increments, uh, increment of three, one, two, three. Okay, so right here, control and left mouse click, right mouse click now, insert keyframe all, just like that. And if you have to refer back to uh, the steps, you can. So right now we are at, let's see here. So the slide, right here at this point, is right here, since this was the passing point. Uh, this is the median point. Uh, onto it. Here we go back. Let's look at the breakdown right here. So medium point, the going down like that, then the going up as I have right here, lift. Now I'm going to do the same thing here on the lift up, going up, then median, then going down again. So again here, I'm going to work on the body again uh, here to adjust. Head here. Okay. 
Okay, I'll make a little bit more adjustments there to refine it, to equalize the head. There we go, much better. So scrub through. Okay. So again, anchor point to shoulder, just midpoint here, forearm hand, group that, holding the control key right here and here, adjust. Now I'm gonna swing a little bit here. There we go. Okay, more adjustments here. One last time. Anchor point. Now I'm gonna move slightly here and adjust. Again, we want to create that illusion that there's sort of a shifting of weight and depth within that character. You want to sort of have that sway uh, onto it. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. This point here. Insert keyframe, all. Okay, let's refer back. This is where the lift begins and of course the slant on here. So of course slight lift here, up. Ah, here comes the fun part, we're moving up. Okay, foot goes here. May have to zoom in a little bit more just to make the adjustment. Since my character does not have a bend here, like a little warp here to create the ball of the foot bend, we'll just leave what we have here and to create that. So there we go. Okay, good. Uh -huh -huh. Adjust. Control select, hover to keyframe, and go to all. There we go. So now that I have that, move pivot here, adjust. Make adjustments. There we go. And go back to here. Make some slight adjustments here. Here. And here. Since we're creating that illusion of a slant, a body sort of uh, pushing forward. Uh, so we'll have that. Okay. There we go. Same thing here. Control select. Right click at this keyframe here. All. There we go. Make adjustments here. Anchor point. There we go, here. So we're going to use the body and head. Move to create that sort of forward slant. Okay, I'm going to make one more adjustment here from the 
arms just there. There we go. Okay, let's scrub through. Lift. So what we're gonna do now, to play it back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create and go back to my scene one menu and insert keyframe here. I'm gonna double click here so I can play it. Control enter just to see the play uh, movement. Okay, so everything seems to go a little bit more smoothly. Let's see, slide in between. Let's see, so this is the initiating slide right here. There's the lift. And that when it goes up, just like that. So let's refer back at this point. Okay, now left leg. Actually, calf right here, knee. There we go, foot. Okay, same thing here. Okay, loosen this up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, arms, let's refer back. Okay, there we go. So here's the rise, of course, we're gonna lift this arm up. I'm gonna hide this here. I'm just gonna focus on that. Go up, up, rotate, hands slightly begin to swing. Again, zoom in to make that adjustment. Again, sometimes it snaps. You may have to make those adjustments here. Okay, let's zoom out. There. So we make that. So let's look at our position here. Okay, and there's going to do the drop. So one, two, three. Okay, this is going to be our Next keyframe. Here, here. And we got that set. Pivot, rotate, forearm, move the pivot here, and boom. We'll make adjustments through there. Let's look right here. There. But other than that, this concludes today's screencast tutorial and part two of the walk cycle animation. Thank you.